National game in the state. Top ranked 3A West Lafayette comes to number three Brabuff for our game of the week. Greg Rakestraw from ISC Sports Network is joining us this morning. Huge map matchup here. You're saying the, the bigger schools aren't playing this weekend, so this is the game we're watching. Correct. So again, uh, there are no none of the schools in 6A play this week. Only a handful of schools in 5A play this week. Number one cathedral is amongst those. And those are for sectionals that have five or six teams. Mm -hmm. Most sectionals in that level have four. All the sectionals in 6A have four. But in 1A through 4A, most everybody plays this week. So, yes, we were very fortunate to be able to get this matchup. And uh, these are two teams that have a bit of a postseason history. They met in the regional round both in 2017-2018. Rebuff winning that game in 2017, made it to the state finals. West Lafayette won the game in 2018, won the state championship. So these really are two of the better teams in the state. Long-time rivalry then. So what are you expecting to see this weekend, and how does one pull ahead in this game? It's a, it's a great question. Uh, and, and again, they have both played good schedules. Brebuff has played a better schedule. West Lafayette, historically a program that really finds a way to, to, to put points on the board. Uh, Shane Fry is their head coach. In, in his ninth season, they are 94-17 and 17 at West Lafayette since he became the head coach. Their running game has been a bit stronger this year, but I almost wonder if because they have been so far ahead in the second half, mm -hmm. they haven't been as willing to kind of pass the football. You'll see Division One talent on both sides of the ball as well, really along I'll call kind of the, the, the line. Joe Strickland, defensive end for Rebuff, going to play at Purdue next year. Mo Omanode, a uh, young man that was actually the runner-up in the wrestling state finals last year in the heavyweight division. He has numerous Division One offers. How one pulls up from the other, I'm not sure, because I don't think there's going to be much separation between these two teams tomorrow night. It's so hard when the top two teams go ahead yeah. and have first game and postseason matchup. This is, again, it's the nature of the, of the tournament in Indiana, yeah. to where there is no seeding. Uh, and, and if there are, say, two great teams in a sectional, sometimes they get drawn in the opposite halves of the bracket. Sometimes they draw each other out of the gate. And, and West Lafayette, uh, you know, the last couple of years has run into a great Indy area Catholic school mm -hmm. two years ago. She turned them away to a state championship. Last year, Garen upset him in the first round of the playoffs. It's just the nature of the draw. You don't know who you're going to get until the pairings come out a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, I'm sure those two teams would have loved to have seen each other, yeah. say, in the championship game. But for us... We love having them on TV in the first round. Absolutely. So what are the other games you're watching this weekend? Again, not as many big games kind of locally, yeah. but, but really the, only, the, the other game that kind of caught my attention uh, would be Mount Vernon, who is number five in 4A against traditional rival Pendleton Heights. That game will, will get your attention. And again, I'm not sure the matchup will be super competitive, but just knowing that of the handful of 5A teams that are playing this week, the defending state champ Cathedral, fresh off that huge game last week against Center Grove, They'll play host of Terre Haute North this weekend. Okay, sounds good. Always an exciting time. Thank See who's you. moving forward. Appreciate you, Greg. You got it. And you can watch all of that live uh, on our sister station, Miami TV 23, at 7.30 p.m. against, uh, again, it's West Lafayette. And our rebuff, big game. We are excited to see the outcome there. And we do have a live look outside for you. 